Alright, uh, first of all, sorry for the mess. I just finished building my rig. This is um, the R9 tri axis Sapphire. Uh, three of them running on an MSI GD65 motherboard. Uh, with 8 gigs of RAM, and right now I'm mining script. Um, I use Woody's wooden mining rig. Uh, it's 40 bucks from Amazon. You just buy it, and you do have to assemble it yourself. So as you can see, there's a bunch of there's quite a lot of nails in there, but it's really easy. Yeah, I, even though I messed up a couple times, it's still pretty easy. It comes in a box like this, right there, and you just assemble it all, and it doesn't take that long. So shout out to Woody's mining rig. Um, and I'm running three Sapphire R9-290s and I am hashing script coin and let me show you or not script coin sorry vert coin and let me show you my hashes you be surprised actually I was surprised um, it is at let me see here at 430 440 average hashes that 430 car that's GP0 it's outputting for the monitor so that's why it's a little low but look at the work work units are pretty good they are at 370, 320, and 360, and I'm running at 20 intensity, which is very rare for Vertcoin. I'm usually only seeing 13 intensity. Um, if you want to see the actual settings, uh, just just post them in the comments, and I will post them. Because the settings only really work for the R9 290s, because of the shaders and just the way it all works. Um, you literally just put up the settings and fire it up, and it will it will work for any R9 Sapphire 290. Uh, and this is my other rig that's just running up. It's just a different. It's the same exact parts. It's just different setup. Here I have, for example, uh, not. A, I don't have. A, this hard drive's a little bigger. It's a one terabyte. So is this. And it's behind that box. But it's a little smaller. And I have this 1,000 watt Corsair and the MSI gaming motherboard. This one's running through Ethernet. I have a switch, and then get there goes to my wall and. To my modem, and this one runs off of those those Wi-Fi adapters. Let me see if I can find one here. There you go. Those guys, they're easy to set up. Whoever told you that you can run money rings off of Wi-Fi is uh, not very smart because I've been running them off of Wi-Fi and those perfectly fine. What else? So yeah, I have this box fan. That's probably overkill because I only have three cards. Um, and that's running on a thousand watts, so if I can't, I can't have like six cards there, but it will get really hot, and it's gonna pull a lot of power. And I am routing this, the power from downstairs via a extension cord right here, the orange cord. It's rated at 15 amps and 1250 watts. So this power supply is pulling around a thousand watts. A little more because it's not really efficient. No, it's 80% efficient. So, 80% of a thousand. That's uh, we're losing about 20%. So let's just max it at 1,200 watts, really. And the wire is rated. I mean, the cord is rated at 1,250. So I'm not really trying to cause a fire here, but that's why I'm kind of keeping keeping it light on the circuits. So three cards. They're probably pulling around 900. I'm not pushing them too hard. I mean, intensity is 20, but I'm not really overclocking the BIOS. Is still on the uh, the stock one. I'm, it's not an overclocked one. I'm not overclocking the motherboard. I'm just trying to conserve my hardware. I'm not trying to cause a fire. And this is just for because the whole room gets really hot. It's a pretty small room. This is just for safety, I guess, just to keep them uh, running really smooth. Uh, so I'm gonna keep expanding. And I have uh, this is my other rig here, and I already showed you in the other video. Let me show you. Um, this is by the way the extension cord is 100 foot probably should have got a 50 foot one but uh, this is the extension it goes to that circuit because I have an extra circuit down there and this is the other rig it's exact same setup as the one upstairs and the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to build the other wooden rig and uh, convert this and move it upstairs as well so I'll have two of these guys running and then I think I have another circuit in my house and if I don't and the garage is down there, uh, which is another floor down, and I'm gonna have probably end up getting a new fuse box with more amps and just uh, running a huge uh, extension cord instead of running like three cords. I'll probably get just one huge one 
run into his room and, and just fill it all up with the rigs. So if you want my settings for the R9290s, uh, just subscribe or just you know email me and I'll send it to you. So yeah, enjoy. I hope you hope you get something useful out of it and peace out.